644, and you know, Nick, this week it is extremely important to pay attention to the weather. Yeah, make sure you've got that Storm Track 3 app handy. Some of those apps probably going off early this morning as the National Weather Service issuing a winter weather advisory. It's out ahead of a chance for some more winter weather moving our way later on this afternoon and through the evening hours. Notice that purple color there out across parts of southern Illinois. So this is mainly a southern Illinois thing along and north of Route 13. So Jackson, Williamson, Saline, Gallatin, Hamilton, Franklin, Perry, Jefferson counties all in this winter weather advisory starts at 3 p.m. this afternoon. These are the areas that we do expect at least some travel disruptions coming up later on today. So we're dry through lunchtime expecting that winter weather to arrive towards the later part of the afternoon and extend into parts of the evening as well. Now Tuesday brings a brief break from some of the winter weather. However, by Tuesday night, more of it on the way, possibly some ice heading our way for Wednesday and Thursday. I've seen a lot of social media chatter, Dave, of people saying, well, I wanted snow, but I don't want ice. But uh, <laughs> unfortunately, that uh, looks like what we're going to be tracking here towards the middle of the week. By the end of the week, Friday and into the weekend, uh, once again, some of the coldest air of the season set to move our way. It is a cold start once again this morning. Live view right outside our studio door. Still some snow hanging around on some of the grassy surfaces, especially in some of those shady areas. But uh, temperatures right now back into the upper teens and lower 20s, especially areas that did pick up on some snow Saturday night into Sunday. Right now, uh, 21 in Harrisburg. We've got 18 in Mount Vernon, 21 in Paducah, 23 in Murray, still 27 in Union City, Tennessee. So some of our southern counties not quite as cold. There is some warmer air trying to work its way up from the south. Nine degrees is what it feels like. That's the current wind chill in Mount Vernon. 17 is the current wind chill in Carbondale. We've actually been tracking possibly a few flurries mixing in. Uh, most of this likely evaporating before it makes it to the ground but we've got a lot of clouds in uh, from the west and actually dragging some light snow uh, to our north and across parts of central Illinois. So if you're doing some traveling today, be prepared for that. Arctic high pressure sitting out across the Midwest. It is pumping in the colder air. There is a little area of energy we're tracking though out to our west. Uh, right now snow developing into Kansas and even a little bit of freezing rain back into parts of eastern Oklahoma. That is set to arrive later on today. So we're dry through the lunchtime hour. Temperatures upper 20s along I-64. Along Route 13 about 33, 34 degrees. So some of us actually going to climb just above the freezing mark this afternoon. A lot warmer though south of the Ohio River. Temperatures there approaching about 40 degrees and notice as the precipitation moves in there, there's still some uncertainty on how this is going to fall. Right now we are expecting mainly light snow north of Route 13. There's going to be some uh, band here though with some freezing rain and then to the south, possibly even some raindrops falling out across parts of western Kentucky and the Missouri boot heel. This continues into the evening hours. Notice 7 p.m. Much of southern Illinois seeing some light snow and even even tonight, some freezing drizzle may linger through a good part of the overnight hour, so some slick travel is a possibility. It won't take a whole lot because temperatures have been below freezing for several days. But notice north of Route 13, Carbondale, West Frankfort, DeCoin, Pinckneyville, Mount Vernon, McLeansboro, about one to two inches of snow expected in these areas. There may be a narrow band where we could see just a bit more than two inches in a few spots. Uh, clearing out for Tuesday, but then Tuesday night into Wednesday, another chance for some winter weather, and that even extends into Thursday. So a very challenging week of forecasting ahead for us. This is as we head into Wednesday. Notice the pink here. That is some freezing rain expected. And uh, right now, expecting uh, right across southern Illinois, southeast Missouri, and right along the Ohio River, about a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch of ice possible Wednesday and into, into Thursday. So be paying attention to that forecast. Again, some slick travel expected towards the middle of the week. So a 60% chance today it goes down just a bit on Tuesday. That's going to be focused later into the evening hours when that winter weather returns. Rain in some of our southern counties mixed with freezing rain across southern Illinois, southeast Missouri changes to some freezing rain and snow on Thursday. And then here comes the colder air Friday morning, 11 degrees, 24 for an afternoon high temperature and even colder weather by the second half of the weekend. Five for a morning low on Sunday afternoon high about 20 and we even stay below freezing through the early part of next week. You can only find those three extra days right here 